Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Now is this really the only purple outfit they have? Uh, okay, well we'll get it and then we'll get the pink one too just so they can match as... Well, no, I kind of like the pants because Pinky wears pants. Actually she doesn't, but it looks like she's wearing pants, so... We'll just get that anyway and we'll get another cute outfit for a little girl or two or three just because um all right so anyway i've been playing portal and so i've almost beaten it i mean i'm over halfway through level 15 i just got frustrated before i actually completed it so that being said i have also been playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for 3DS, which I got the day before it came out thanks to PAX East. That was a fun line to stand in. Um, and so I've been playing that. I think I'm a little over halfway through that game as well, but I have been like obsessed with the online multiplayer. I love the online multiplayer. It's fantastic. It's so much fun. That's like my favorite part of that game, which is really funny because I didn't expect to even you know, not that I didn't expect to play it, but I didn't expect that to be like my main focus of gameplay whenever I get on that game. But it is, it's so much fun. I, there was like a week straight where I just played the online multiplayer every single night, like while I was laying in bed falling asleep. So that's a lot of fun. I definitely enjoy that game. And um, some of the puzzles are a little confusing. It reminds me of Paper Mario Sticker Star in that way because I feel that both those games had confusing puzzle lines. Um, and while I'm talking, I'm actually going to pause this and use um, the other cheat because it's kind of driving me crazy that we can't do anything about some of these objects. No, not on Jex. Okay, move objects on. Okay, um, like this, this freaking used birthday cake that we can't delete because it wants to believe that it's still in use. Well, it's not, sorry. Oh, and isn't that a sight to see? All right, we got to take a picture of this, of the two kids looking like, oh, look at them. I hope I'm like them someday. And then we gotta get a close up and person. Yes, close up and personal shot. That's legit. I love that. That really is legit. Actually, no, it's not. It's fierce. Legit moved out. Oh, good. We're still practicing this. I'm happy to see that. Not really. We're gonna delete the love tub. And we're gonna turn off this cheat code just so I don't do anything stupid with it. Um such as buy an item that can't really go in a certain area and think that it can. All right, so anyway, let me see if she has this love tub as an option. She does. Can we re-add this? Yes, okay, we're just gonna add it right there. Actually, you know what? We should put the love tub I don't know. Can we put it out here? And put that hot tub in our room? Again, I know it's not as exciting. Okay. Maybe not, but... That's fine. It's just, it's fine right there, we'll leave it. Oh, that was kind of interesting. Oh, well, I guess he lied. So, anyway. Um... Alright, we can't clean up that cake either. Oh crap, and I just turned that stupid thing off! Oh my god, I'm making this so complicated for myself. So anyway, as I was saying, the puzzles in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for 3DS are a little confusing. Not overly. It's not like they're over the top confusing to the point where you get frustrated and like throw the game down or something, but it is more difficult than I thought it would be and sometimes in a frustrating way, so I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but I don't think it's technically a bad thing either. Um, and then the other game that I have been playing non-stop, obsessively, and I said, oh no, I won't, probably won't like that game. Of course, that's how it was. 
Now, whenever I say, oh no, I don't think I'll like that, I usually end up like obsessed with whatever it is that I claim that I wouldn't like. And I end up loving it, like, insanity. So, you know, it's totally like that with this game, and that is Fire Emblem Awakening. I've never played a Fire Emblem game before because they've never interested me, that style of gameplay. I was always like, eh, I don't really care, I don't want to play it like that, it's not that interesting to me. And then, you know, by pretty much all my friends from YouTube, my fellow LPers, um, pretty much all of them were like, no, it's amazing, you have to get it, and so I was like, oh, well, it must be, you know, something, I'll try it, whatever. So, um, and then I finally, you know, bought the game. <laughs> Why are you playing the dollhouse, Waluigi? I mean, go for it, but okay. Alright, anyway, um, so yeah, more particularly, Shadow Mario 41 got me into the game because he showed it to me and was like, no, you'll love it, seriously, try it. So I was like, fine, I'll get it, and I tried it, and I fell in love with it, and it's all I've been playing, literally. Like, I was playing the other games before, now I just play that one. It's like, ah, it's taken over. But I'm to, like, chapter 20 at the moment. And I've done, like, all the side chapters. <laughs> Why are you taking a dump with your kid right in front of you? Really, madam? Come on, now. Way to be classy. Anyway, so... <clears throat> I've been playing that game non-stop. I've done all the side chapters that I can so far that have been unlocked. I've been like getting my characters married and going insane and you know like oh my god this game is so good I've invested like over 24 hours into it and I've only had the game for a week literally I've only had the game for a week now and 24 hours of investment later what's up guys so yeah it's pretty much amazing I love it okay no we're not gonna take a shower you're not gonna go do some things with some guy what is this dude doing? Well, if you're gonna hold her, then you need to change her diaper, because she stinks. Come on now. Thank you. My gosh. It's so complicated to get anything done in this household. Alright, can you... Like... Okay, whatever, I don't care. Um... And there's one other game I've been playing lately, which is, I'm kind of sad to say I've just now gotten around to playing it, but, um, the other game I've been playing is Dance Central 3. I've recently been, um, playing the story mode on that, which is like the cheesiest story of my entire life, but it's a dance game, so I love it anyway. And so, you know, I, I usually go through games like that, like, in one night, though. Which is really, you know, not what you should do because it's really hard on your body, number one, and it's tough and you get tired and it's like, I don't want to do this anymore, which basically happened. Because I actually played it last night before I, you know, by the time you're seeing this, it will be longer ago, but before I recorded this, I played this the night before, if that makes any sense. Um, and so I've been playing that like you know, trying to get through all the songs to get all the songs unlocked. And it's, I love Dance Central. It is the best dance game out there. If you have tried Just Dance or any of those things, they're fun, but they're not like Dance Central. They're not as good. So Dance Central is the best. And I don't know if it's just because I'm a dancer, so like, those dances are a little tougher, which they're, I just think they're better designed, better choreographed. So honestly, if you're going to try a dance game, go for Dance Central if you have the equipment. I think that, you know, Just Dance and those games are available on more systems. Whoa, someone's pregnant at noon. Why is it always at noon? That's really weird. Um, but, you know, that is something though that th I just think they're more fun, the Dance Central games, even though they're only available on Connect. So yeah, those four games, Portal, um, yeah, Portal, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon for 3DS, Fire Emblem Awakening for 3DS, and then Dance Central 3. Those have been my four games I've been playing simultaneously for the past couple weeks now. So, you know, it's pretty fun. I will give it that. So, you know. Now that I've talked about other games, 
way more than I've talked about this game. <laughs> we will continue talking about this game. Now, we need to bathe Rarity, which I think she was going to do, but I want her to do it in this tub. And then, oh, we want to become best friends with Waluigi. How much fun is that? He's not going to be a teenager soon. He's going to be a teenager today if we don't buy him a cake. Shoot. Okay, we got to buy him a cake. Get him get him in here to become a teen. So we can have teenage peer pressure problems. Let's hope not. I mean, he's like Look at that face. He's like a little stud with big ears. He kind of is. Look at his ears. They're so big. Because of Wario. Although he is Wario's legitimate child. So Wario has something to be happy about. Do any of my kids have blue eyes? Like Wario or Mario? I don't think they do. And you're in the toilet again. Get out of the toilet. Alright. And he's a pretty handsome... Not gonna lie. Pretty handsome teenager. Oh boy, formal wearing glasses. He likes the nerds. Alright, and he seems like a family guy. We'll have him go for... Well, he doesn't seem like THE family guy. Like... Da, 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 da. Not that family guy, but... Which I love family guy, by the way. I feel like I've talked about family guy on and off in like every single LP I've ever made. And, you know, not really the recent ones, but the older ones, like when the newer seasons were coming out and they weren't as good as the older seasons and everybody was like, oh, this season's not as good, you know. That's kind of, you know what, I'm kind of digging this sweet dork outfit he's got going on, so I like it. And I kind of like him just like that. I really don't want to change anything about his hair or his face or anything, so he just gets to look really cool. He wants a job in the military, though, so that should be something we look into. Even though I don't really picture Luigi in the military, but we can uh, arrange for that, I guess. So anyway, no. Actually, that'd be really funny if he was in law enforcement, since he is Luigi and that's kind of what Mario and Luigi do, essentially in a way. And his dad's a criminal. Yep, sit with those phone books on your lap. That seems really hot. Alright, so it's not a job in the military, but it's a job at the moment. Now, I need you to get off the computer so that I can use it. So if you're gonna play a game on it. It's more fun to play a game on a console. Except for Sims. Sims is the computer game. If you're gonna get a computer game, get Sims. It's so good the best. That's why I'm playing. Um, I'm serious though, like I never really, not that I've never played computer games, but I, oh crap, he's looking for a job and his carpool to his current job is already here. That worked fast. Um, okay, no. Let's see, no. Any military? Oh, well he doesn't even want a job in the military anymore. Fine. Go to work! Bye! So, anyway... What? Are you drinking? You're not supposed to have espresso when you're pregnant? Dude, that's bad for you. So yeah, Sims 2 is my favorite computer game. Sims, in general, is my favorite computer game. Just the whole genre, I love it. Um, I grew up playing Lemmings, which is a fantastic computer game as well. Love Lemmings. Love it. So much fun. I wish I had it now, but I don't. And I grew up watching my dad play the original Warcraft, Wolfenstein, and... Oh shoot, what was the other one? I can't even remember now. I know what it is. It's like a famous game now. But I can't remember. I don't know. So I grew up watching all those, and those are all like really great games for the computer, but you know, nothing's like Sims. Sims will always be my favorite. Anyway, I was talking about Family Guy, and I stopped, but yeah, I love Family Guy. Recent seasons, yeah, they kind of suck. A lot of pop culture reliance, but Family Guy's always kind of been that way, and jokes aren't as funny and whatnot, but you know, I love the show still. I'll always love that show. 
Which is kind of weird because I don't like American Dad, like, at all. I'm not a fan of that show. I'm like, ooh, American Dad, let's change the channel. But with Family Guy, I'm like, let's watch Family Guy for like four hours! I have no idea. I just really love that show. Something about it is comforting to me, even though it's just, like, ridiculous. Which I think is why the show has succeeded as it has. 